Okay, so here we are on Stranded, the Australian Canadian Music Show. And uh, finally, for quite some time, I've been trying to get a hold of Jess Collins. She's a very busy woman, a local musician, and uh, extra perfect guest for this show because she is Australian and expat. Hello, Jess. Hi. Now, you are Vancouver based, but Australian born. And I, did, I was really pleased to discover when we first met that we actually grew up in a very, very similar place, uh, central Queensland, very close. Was it, uh, wh- where exactly did you grow up? Um, I grew up on a cattle property in central Queensland, re- west of Rockhampton. So, the, that, well, that's where we are now. The town that I grew up near was called Mount Larkham. So it's like 300 people, I guess, maybe more. I'm not sure. Might be a few more now. But yeah, it's fairly, fairly isolated area. Yeah, I uh, grew up in Gladstone, which is very close. And so I, I recall Mount Larkham of, of two. And on your bio, at least, you talk about how it was quite an isolated place. And I can recall that too, culturally isolated. What was it like for you discovering music and I guess popular music? How did, how did that journey for you play out? I feel like I didn't, well, I wanted to be a veterinary nurse when I was younger. So I didn't really know that I could do music as a career. As a child growing up, what we listened to was mainly like Macro on a Sunday morning, ABC radio kind of business. So we listened to like Top 40 on the radio and also a lot of Christian music. My mum is, um, she leads the church worship group. So I listened to a lot of that and country music as well was definitely part of the music of that growing up in Christmas carols. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I can relate to growing up in that area and having nothing but AM radio. I mean, yeah. in, into my teens, like yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's basically what happened as well. There were some FM radio stations, but they we didn't really have that sort of reception where we were. And I did end up going to school in Gladstone, actually, in high school. I ended up going to Gladstone, which is when I started to discover more of Australia's like top forty pop music, like Delta Bedroom and Savage Garden. By then, I had already started creating music, I think I was maybe 15 or 16, when I started to make music, because we had a piano and I was sick of listening to the same stuff, so I just decided to create music and see where it went. So that was my first experience making music, was just so I could hear something different to what I was growing up around. To have that isolation necessitate your creative output, I think, is really interesting. Yeah, yeah, well, I had to listen to something else apart from some some Dusty. Uh, Yeah. He was, yeah, he's good, bless his soul. But uh, yeah, I just really needed to hear something different, so I just started making music on piano, also as a way to deal with the high school as well. I wasn't used to being around so many people when I went to Gladstone, which still it wasn't that many people, but it was definitely more than Mount Larkham, so I had mm. to had, had some social issues as well, so making music helped me deal with it therapeutically and also um, entertained my needs with some for a moment when I opened and went to KJ Radio. In the Triple J Radio because of the swearing. <laughs> so I grew up in quite a strict household. But uh, in saying that, like, once we're old enough to know, like, what decisions we wanted to make, she was okay with it. So I first discovered Triple J when I was about 17. Yeah. And so that's when I started hearing kind of more independent music as well. I wouldn't say I was as fond of it then as I was now because I didn't know what the sound was. I was. It wasn't familiar to me and I was mm. still making my own music. So... Um, I listened to more Triple J when I was like at university, like straight up to school. And when I finished year 12 in Gladstone, I moved to the Gold Coast to study music for three years, which I discovered you could do after looking through a courses book and realizing that there's a music section and there's courses that you can take. It was quite exciting. I decided to ditch the vet idea. Um, yeah. Oh. Uh, I've noticed that, that vocals are very strong in your music. Was it always vocals that was your primary instrument? My vocals? I mean, as a result of travelling and hearing like myself recorded back, my vocals have definitely improved. But they, vocals, piano are my primary instrument and I also play guitar. You know, years forward now, you're in Vancouver, BC, on the other side of the world with a record yeah. release. How did that happen? Why Vancouver? What was the step? Um, I didn't realize it until um, last year, really, but I had been dreaming of living in Vancouver since I was a kid because I remember seeing pictures of the mountains. But uh, I didn't do it because of that. I had been traveling for a few years through, like, I did some, played some shows in Europe and in the UK and then moved over here after visiting Thailand and after being here for six months I was basically uh, another stranded Aussie to break to go home and 
met some musicians and decided to make the most of recording an album here because I just felt like it was time to stop globe trotting for a little bit, yeah. Oh, right, and yeah, you've definitely landed on your feet. I, I have uh, met some <laughs> of the guys. I have to do size 12. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I have met a couple of the guys in your band, very good natured guys, too. Uh, what can you tell us about, about your band? Uh, the band I'm playing with at the moment is that uh, we have Jo, she's on drums. Actually, I have a couple of girls now, which is good. Get some feminine mm. touch in there. So we have Jo, she's on drums, and she's actually doing um, a music course at Parvi at the moment, Pacific Audio Visual Institute. Mm -hmm. um, so, as well as talented. And then we have Tatiana on acoustic guitar and backing vocals, and she's actually about to be a mama in a few months. And we have Gene, he's on electric guitar. Yeah, so he like does electric guitar for the band, and we have Chris on bass. Yeah, great. And Chris is another singer songwriter as well. All of those people, like I'm very fortunate to be surrounded by such um, versatile musicians because everyone in the band does actually create their own music as well. Oh, I see. Um, so when they listen to my music and learn it, it, they pick up on it very easily because they understand the songwriter's perspective. Got it. Got it. And playing, yeah. Okay. Well, it's sure to be quite a, a fascinating um, and powerful show next Tuesday at the Electric Owl. Also playing with The Dirt, Dubai, and The Fog, is that? Oh. Uh, Zen Mystery Fog. Oh, Zen Mystery Fog. Yeah. Um, so, big night there, Electric Owl, one of the best venues in town, for the release of Jess Cullen's record. Um, yeah, the first single for of the album will be Hello Piano. That won't be released for another another few weeks yet as we just finished filming the video clip for it. So that'll be also a release show which once it's announced I'll definitely let you guys know. Yeah.